So I'm a little bit excited and I'm a little bit nervous. Excited because I want to try the Leica Q2 on astrophotography. A little bit nervous in that I know the ISO on the Q2 is not the best when you bump it up over 1600, that sort of thing. So I'm kind of thinking I might be wasting my time. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, all that sort of thing. Hopefully I may get a little happy surprise. Kia ora guys and welcome back to an absolutely beautiful crystal clear late autumn day in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. Without much of a plan, I thought I'd shoot some Astro. Try and get the Milky Way in. We've sort of, we've got the Milky Way coming over this time of year. And with the crystal clear skies, I think we're gonna get some nice photographs. Now, normally I shoot Astro with my Nikon D3S and a Samyang 14 millimeter F2.8 lens. Mega wide, a beautiful manual focus lens. But today I thought, let's give my new favorite toy a go. The Leica Q2. I know you're getting sick of hearing about Leica Q2, but honestly, this camera is absolutely gorgeous. Not that other cameras aren't gorgeous. This one to me is, I just, I just want to play with this camera. I just love it. I just want to see what it does. So Leica Q2 with its summer looks 1.7, 28mm lens. I've got the battery on charge. We're going to set the camera up all manually. So we're going to have the aperture at probably f1.7, maybe 2, maybe 2.8 at the maximum. We're going to put the camera onto manual focus, which is a little tab down here. You do that that way. And we're going to set the lens to infinity. We're going to set the ISO to round about, I'm, I'm thinking, ISO 6400, 3200, maybe 1600, maybe even down to 800. I don't know. What I have noticed about this camera is the higher the ISO, the noisier the images. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to push the camera without getting unacceptably bad noise. The Leica Q2 has got a automatic noise reduction set into the camera. So that will give us a blank frame. So say if I'm shooting for maybe 10, 12, 14, 20 seconds, it'll give a blank frame as well to try and clean up any noise. So we'll see how that works. What else do we need? We're going to need a headlamp. What's it called? It's called a LED Lenser, an SE05. Powerful, powerful little sucker. Thanks to a mate at work, Ian, cheers buddy, he supplied this one. And then obviously we need a tripod to keep the camera nice and stable. I'm just going to use this little Manfrotto. I don't even know the bloody model number. Oh, hold on, here we go. It is a Manfrotto Compact Light MK Compact LT-BK. If that means anything to you, go for your life. It'll take up to 1.5 kilograms. Plenty for this baby. So this will do. Just had about a 20 minute, 30 minute drive out of town. Gone along the road. I'm looking for skeletal trees, something with little to no foliage on it that's going to stand out really nicely. So I've got trees to my left, trees to my right. Might get a golden hour shot, you never know. So welcome back to the next day. Unfortunately, that didn't go to plan for a couple of reasons, did it? No, it didn't. It all went a bit pear shaped. Yes, it did. Basically, what happened was, got out of the van when it was dark enough, looked up at the sky, hoping to see a beautiful core of the Milky Way. Yet yeah, I did. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. I'm talking over there, look. Yes. Anyway, distracted. So uh, yeah, so I looked up at the sky, hoping to see a beautiful Milky Way core. Not a bit of it. The clouds had sneakily rolled in off the mountains, scuppering any chance that I had of seeing any semblance of the Milky Way. So uh, yeah, that, that one went out of the window. The next issue I had, I tried to set the camera up like I set my old Nikon up. I sold 3200 with a 20, 25 to 30 second exposure. Unfortunately, the Q2 doesn't do that. It, it wouldn't do that at all. So after a little bit of playing about with the Q2, I found out that the best you could do was ISO 400, then I could get to 24, 30 second exposures. So that's what I did. I saw a few little stars poking through the clouds. So I took a couple of quick grab shots. 
I'm quite impressed. They've come out tack sharp. The, the noise, obviously, ISO 400 is fine, no problems whatsoever. But I think the 24 second exposure was a little bit too long for this particular lens. Next time I shoot stars, I'll shoot it down at maybe 20 seconds to stop any movement in the stars at all. I've just got a couple of little movements which I'm not too happy about. Then I decided to get the torch out and do a little bit of light painting. And I think they've turned out quite nice. Not all what I wanted on the night, but not bad, not bad at all. So guys, thanks for sticking with this. It didn't really work out anything like I wanted it to, but I've come away with a couple of shots that are quite acceptable. Nothing I'm gonna print off or display, but certainly something to encourage me to go out next time. We get a clear night and, uh, and try and get the Milky Way. Thanks for watching and until next time, say bye bye. Do it, bye bye. Clever girl. Even though there's an ocean under your feet, are we losing our minds? When we try to speak, and I'll wait till you're under my skin, and I'll ask it in ways. Don't need to be ruined Your heart was here